Hey, what's going on? 577 Jersey here. Uh, this video is for uh, Larry in Pennsylvania. Started on your radio today. Uh, this one came in with a pretty strange problem. One problem that I've never seen before. Radio would only power on if you had the antenna plugged in. So that was telling me that there was some kind of a broken ground or I was thinking maybe a bypass caps or something at first and I was looking around under here I didn't see anything right away off the bat so then I probed uh, the power power plug here for continuity from the uh, negative side to like a cannon radio and I wasn't getting anything and you're supposed to have you know direct continuity from the negative side of that power plug to any any can in here or any DC ground because all these cans are DC ground and there was nothing as soon as I plugged the antenna in I got continuity from the negative side to DC ground but it was showing an ohm reading too on the meter so I'm like what the hell's going on that's really freaking strange flipped this over looking a little bit harder <laughs> and I found a uh, a blown trace back here the DC ground trace right here was blown so it must have been plugged in backwards at one time or something or another and uh, the trace blew so what I did was I just scratched the copper off each side of the trace where it was blown and then I just bridged it over with some good uh, good silver solder there so that's good to go there now that's all repaired working good now um, what else here? D11 was clipped. So I just soldered it back in there. Soldered D11 back in place. Added a protection diode here for you in case you plug it in backwards. Um, if you plug it in backwards, this diode's going to pop and you're going to keep blowing fuses when you go to plug it in as long as you're using the proper fuse. I would use a 5 amp fuse with this radio since it's been peaked and tuned it's drawing about 2.7 close to 3 amps maybe and uh, if you plug it in backwards this will pop and then every time you go to change and the fuse will pop too and then every time you go to plug it back in again your fuses will keep popping a lot of times guys keep putting bigger fuses in the radios and thinking that's going to solve the problem or they put no fuse at all and use like a piece of tin foil in the fuse holder and then they end up blowing traces off the bottom of the board here like what happened take out this diode take out chokes burn these wires off and then take out the diode down on the board there big freaking mess so if you plug it in backwards and then you go to plug it plug it in and it keeps popping the fuses just uh, leave it alone and uh, bring it on back over here and we'll take care of it for you alright and we also did the uh, TIP 120 variable variable power mod it's on on the Delta tune and we got all the wires tucked away real nice and then the main harness so it looks nice and clean um, peaked and tuned it, went through the receiver, transmit frequency, um, it's got two 10 volt electrolytics in it from factory, one back here in the audio section and another one here also. So we're gonna, I'm going to change both of those out, upgrade them to at least uh, 25 to 50 volt electrolytics because 10 volts that's running you know even if it's on the 8 volt rail or something it's running a little too close to threshold there and that's not a good idea but uh... And it looks like otherwise they got some pretty good caps in here they got these gold caps in here and i'm not sure if they're chinese knockoff caps or what because i can't really get the names off of them i think they say gd on them or something like that and i, I tried searching them up and i couldn't find much information on them but the receiver on this radio is like unbelievably great. 
compared to all the other Chinese Cobra 29s that I got in here, the receiver on this one is fantastic. I mean, I'll show you guys. I'll definitely show you guys in the uh, next video clip when I plug it in. But it, here's a signal down to about, it starts hearing a signal at about minus 135 dB with very low noise. And uh, that was just going through the uh, IF cans and, you know, peaking them and then setting the signal to noise ratio. And uh, this radio here is fantastic. And it's a uh, manufactured April. 2016 made in China so I couldn't believe it I guess China got lucky on this one very good receiver on this radio and it's putting out about well it's keying variable 0 to 5 you know and you can see any anywhere from like a half a watt up it's swinging about 8 or 9 watts average and uh, about 30 peak so it's doing real good with, for the stock final and everything. Um, what else? Yeah, that's about it for now, guys. All right, I just wanted to give you a rundown on what was going on with it. That strange issue with the uh, the radio wouldn't wouldn't power up at all unless you had the antenna plugged in. That was really really strange. It's the first time I've seen that too. So we got it working again for you, Jer, and we'll be back. Alright, here's a little output test uh, on this Cobra 29. It's got the TIP high gain variable swing mod in, in it there. Limiters, everything's still intact in this radio, just peak and tune. Um, transmit freak. Twenty-seven two oh five two kilohertz high. That should drop right in once it warms up. Delta tune all the way down, key the radio, nothing, roll it up, nice and smooth, one watt, one watt is right between the one and the two on that meter, and on the delta tune, it's about 11.45. Two watts. Two watts is right on the two. Got it calibrated right on the two. Three watts. Three watts. So the two and the three are like right on the money. And for one watt, you want to be right between the one and the two there for one watt. And then we'll get you like. We'll get you down to like a quarter watt right there, see it? Might gain dynamics about eh, 130. Never run it wide open. Quarter watt. Oh yeah. Quarter watt. Oh yeah, about nine average. 20 watt scale. Oh yeah. Quarter watt, 9 average. Turn the delta tune all the way up. Delta tune wide open. RF power wide open. 5 watts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. About 9, 10 average. Oh yeah. Peak, 200 watt scale, in the middle, audio 1, 2, check, 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 about 30, audio 1, 2, check, 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 30 watts, delta tune back down, we'll get it keying, uh, Uh, right on the two there, so two watts. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Audio, two swinging a little over 30. That's a good thing about this TIP 120. Uh, swing hit. Audio, you get the same forward output power as you would, you know, from a quarter watt all the way up to five watts, it don't matter. So it's perfect for driving an amplifier. And now you got a lot more options too, you know, if you want to drive like a you want to drive like a, a one by amplifier, like a one pill and a two or a one by four. You know, you could set this up for one or two watts. Just bring it, you know, bring this up until the relay keys and then get about 90 watts out of the amp and let it swing. If you want to hit like a high drive, like a two pill, you crank this wide open, you know, and put five swinging uh, nine average into it. And that would be perfect, man, for a high drive. So you got all kinds of options here with this variable power that's what I like about it so much and the best thing about it is you're swinging the same forward average from a quarter watt all the way up to five watts does not change alright uh, we'll be back for the receiver section thanks for stopping by 577 Jersey we'll be back bump bump alright we're back for the receiver section real quick uh, minus Minus 67 dBm S9 Let's uh, turn the volume up a little and drop this down All the way down It's 130, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, can't hear it there. Start hearing it at about 135. 132 you really hear it loud and one minus 131 and there's that's minus 130 right there all the way down so that's unbelievable man that's like the first time I ever seen that on a new Chinese cover 29 and that was with the ANL off you put the ANL on and this thing gets nice and quiet man this is a really nice receiver on this radio almost want to buy it from you because <laughs> I've never seen one like this and I've seen a lot of these radios man alright Jer well we're gonna go through it one last time and uh, make sure all is well and then we'll wrap it up put the covers back on tins back on and uh, actually another thing I want to do is upgrade this antenna wire too so I noticed it was a little a little chintzy Try end up putting like a like a fireproof uh, like a silver Teflon back there or something for you. Cause these wires are kind of kind of cheesy, you know. And this doesn't even look like it was soldered on right from the factory. It just looks like it was booger soldered there real quick. So we'll go through it again once more. Uh, put a flameproof Teflon wire on there, a little heavier gauge than that one. Replace these. Uh, 10 volt, two 10 volt electrolytics, and uh, that should be it, man. You're all squared away and ready to go. 577 Jersey, and I'm out. Bump, bump.